1024, April 25th. So another piece of this is the shadow mills involved with their global terrorist agenda. This is a theory. This is in my uh, key info about their global terrorist agenda. Um, so I'm just ticking people off if they have any clue about this. But the shadow mills are places that I, I made up the name, shadow mill. But um, uh, it's a place where this dark money is made and these dark money... This dark money is money that flows into the political system to finance things. Sometimes it's from un unknown contributors and it's illegal. Um, but these shadow mills are some of these places they're making it, and some of it may involve illegal gambling rings, economic espionage rings, and highly illegal activities. And what they're doing is um, they're creating these shadow mills. They're making this dark money and then pumping it into the different political systems around the globe, and then um, people are financing political agendas with such. The problem with this is some of these people are unknown contributors and some of these people don't know where the money's coming from. And then what's going on is these guys are potentially showing up and telling people covertly where this money's coming from and then tying people's hands. So this may be another component of their global terrorist agenda. Um, another piece of this is there are people who may also be introducing people to these shadow mills. And those may be key strombolis in society around us. The people introducing people to these shadow mills and getting them to use them to, you know, get political finance. Like, hey, I'll show you where you can make some money, blah, blah, blah. And then, you know, they play nice guy. They play altruistic. They wear the mask. They introduce them. They meet. They make the money. And then maybe, you know, they keep the, uh, the relationship friendly. They leave with good feelings. And then later down the road, these guys covertly contact them and be like, hey, this is where the money's coming from, and this is what you financed your political agenda with, and then boom, hand tying. So that may be a key component of their global terrorist agenda. So look for people running these illegal shadow mills involving illegal gambling, economic espionage rings, data theft rings, highly illegal, unethical, inhumane human experimentation rings, and financial crimes rings. That may be key sources of these shadow mills, or these may be what they're doing at some of these shadow mills and then those are key sources of where hand tying may come from in the world around you, as well as the people running them um, and the people providing the finance from them, as well as the people introducing people to these shadow mills. Those may be key people trying to play stromboli and then turn politicians into puppets. So be wary for that too. I was trying to explain in my other videos, just trying to make it more clear, but it's in my document key info about this global terrorist agenda. So look around for that. If you have any clue what I'm talking about, look for these illegal gambling rings, uh, financing political people and political parties. Those may be key sources of this hand tying in America and why terrorists are still on the loose and people involved in organized crime are still on the loose because these people involved with this technology I'm a victim of should have been in prison a long time ago. The fact they aren't is probably because there's a lot of hand tying going on. The people stealing my intellectual property and stealing trillions should have been in prison a long time ago. The fact they aren't probably because a lot of hand tying is going on. Oh. They're probably also involved with um, illegal investments in technology and this and that and uh, theft of intellectual property and those might be some of their other forms of shadow mills and they sell them stolen property and hand tie them. Um, they show them how they're stealing like covert aggravated assault and robbery, neurophysiological weapons, torture and assault uh, with uh, weaponized telepathy and these implantable devices and that may be a source of where some of this money, this dark money comes from, from showing them the, some of their shadow mills and then they show them where it's really coming from and how they attempt murder on me and abuse me all day and try to steal my property and are hiring cyber terrorists and terrorists to hold me hostage to steal property and then they're like hand tied. So be wary for that. That may be another key component of their global terrorist agenda, these shadow mills and then the nature of how this dark money is being made at their shadow mills and then, um, then they'll, you know, make the relationships, introduce them to the shadow mills, or act like it's a way of the world, act like it's a friendly thing, leave them with good and happy feelings, maybe give them a woman, a man, uh, have a good time, a drink, some drugs, what have you, no telling. And then, you know, have a good time, they leave having a good time, they leave with good, feel good feelings, and then years down the road, they're, boom, hand tying them and exposing to them how this money's being made. And then they're tying hands of politicians. So that may be a piece of this too. Pretty G.